Today I'm sharing six things I've learned from doing street photography over the past two years. These tips have helped me grow and I think they'll do the same for you. And you'll want to stick around for the last tip because it's the biggest lesson I've learned in this journey. You might feel like you need a perfect plan or a perfect location, but honestly, just going out there is the first step. When I first started, I had no direction, just a camera and the willingness to explore. And the more you get out, the faster you will grow as a photographer. So don't overthink it. Just get out and start shooting. There's so much hype over the latest and greatest camera gear, but you can't get hung up over it. I'm guilty as anyone, buying multiple cameras and thinking that my gear is going to make me a better photographer. But what I've learned is that some of my all-time favorite photos have come from the most basic setups. And I've seen amazing work done with just a phone. These are some photos that my friend Kevin took on his latest trip, and I was shocked to find out that they were taken with an iPhone. So remember, it's not about the camera, it's how you see the world. Don't fret over gear. Now, when I started, I snapped hundreds of photos without much thought. But when I took the time to study and learn things like framing, balance, and symmetry, my photos instantly improved. The sooner you learn what makes a photo stand out, the faster you'll see your progress and work. So make sure to study up on composition. Now, when I first started, I thought that I always had to be in the middle of a busy city or a really cool location to capture good street photography. But some of my best shots to date were taken in rural areas, small towns, or even random spots I stumbled upon. Great photos can really be found anywhere. You just need to keep your eyes open. So that's tip number three, don't overthink location. You truly never know when a good photo opportunity is going to peek its head, and you want to make sure you don't miss it. But beyond just having your camera, you need to know it inside and out. If I didn't have my camera and didn't understand exactly how it worked, I might have missed out on this awesome shot of Leonard drinking coffee and reading the newspaper. And that's tip number two. Know your camera well and always be ready so that you don't miss out on captures like this one. Because you truly never know when the perfect photo opportunity shows its head. And now the biggest lesson I've learned over this two year journey. This one's tough, but I think it's important. When you're out there shooting, it's easy to worry about what others think, whether it's other photographers, strangers on the street, or even critics online. But here's the truth. Most people don't care as much as you think. The question you need to ask is, are you happy with your photo? If the answer is yes, that's all that matters. A lot of people are quick to criticize, but at the end of the day, this is your journey. It's your time, it's your effort, and it's your perspective. Shake off the fear of judgment and focus on creating memories and art that make you proud. Remember, every great photographer started exactly where you are and where I am right now. So get out there, take risks, embrace your style, and know that you have something unique to offer the world. Let me know which tip stuck out to you the most in the comments below and consider subscribing to help this channel grow. And if you want to check out my street photography videos, click this video right here or this one over here.